In this video, I want to dive into creating our first script. And we're going to focus on basic data control or data movement using copy and paste or the set field command. So let me go ahead and open up the contact star solution that we've been playing with here on the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and go up under scripts to script workspace and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut going forward, command or control shift S. And I pop open a window, we have literally no scripts. You'll almost never see a window like this. Most of the time there'll be at least one script in here. I'm going to hit add a script. Of course, it pops our right pane open with our available commands and the left pane with the scripts that we have. And this will be our test script. And what I want to do up front is I want to talk about moving data from point A to point B. Now I can move this over and take a look at the file over here. Let's say we want to build a button that is going to copy the information from the work address to the personal address. This is one of those kind of common buttons that you see on a website or database somewhere where it says, yeah, the billing address is the same as the shipping address, and you press a button and it kind of uses it in two places. In this case, let's write a script that actually copies it from point A to point B. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to layout mode, command or control L for layout mode, and it's going to pop that over here. And I'm going to, we've got a map down there at the bottom, I'm going to get rid of the map. And then I have these fields right here. And they appear to be the work field. So what I'm going to do is that there are buttons up here that control back and forth which ones we're seeing. What I want to do is I want to duplicate this section so I can see both groups at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this up here and get rid of this up here. I want to see both at the same time. And then I'm going to double click this right here. And I'm going to say that this is my home address. So I'm just going to reset these real quickly here. Work address 2 to home address 2. And in fact, I'm going to snap my fingers and just jump to the end. So we have both sets of fields here, and I don't have to do any more work in layout mode. I'm going to go back to browse mode using Command or Control B on my keyboard. And what I want to do is I'm going to put an address in here. That's the headquarters of our main office here in the San Francisco Bay Area. And so what I'm going to do is I would like to have a button or a script. Let's just start with a script. That will move the data from here and copy it down to here. Now for a basic developer, if you want to plan this out, the idea is to write this down somehow and notate that you would probably do it by doing copy and paste. You would go here, you would select copy, right? And then you'd come down here and you'd select paste. And so at its most rudimentary level, FileMaker scripts support that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear that out of here. We're going to come over here to our script workspace. We're going to say, uh, the command I want to do is copy. So if I do type over here, I think it's called copy. There's copy right there. So what we want to do is say select the entire contents of a field. We have to target the field. The field will be called work address 1. And then we want to, next line down would probably be paste. So I can type paste over here on the right if I want. And then I see the paste command. Pretty cool. And then I can say paste to the target field, which will be home address 1. So there is our first script. Notice the little asterisk right there. That means that it's not been saved. So we're going to go ahead and hit Command or Control S to save it. It goes away. Now I can run it. So I'm going to move it out of the way over here. I'm going to move this over here. And uh, notice that it's checked off right here. That checkbox means that if I come over here, it's up here under the menu. If I turn this off right here, then it won't be under here at all, right? So that allows me to activate it from up there, which is handy. So I can select it here and press play, or I can just be on the layout and select it. And so we're going to run it, and it does the job. Pretty cool. So you could write this all yourself based upon what you know right now. Now let me give you a couple thoughts about copy and paste. Copy and paste for a brand new person is fantastic. The problem with copy and paste is that the users tend to use the clipboard on the computer for other things. They might have copied an important email address, and before they used it, they came over and pressed the button. And what they will find is that you have deleted or removed the clipboard of information. What is the clipboard? Well, that's the secret hidden area on your computer. When you copy something, it lives there, right? Does that make sense? So when you hit copy, it goes into what they call the clipboard. It's like this magical hidden spot in the sky. And that's where it hangs out until it's removed or somehow replaced by something else. And so every time you run a copy-paste here, literally, you have blown up the user's clipboard. So if they were using it, they're going to go in there, they're going to be very irritated. There's an alternate method you can use. I'm going to press the return key here, and I'm going to run a different command. I'm going to run a set field command. Now, I could look for set field over here, right? 
And then I would find set field and bring it over. But another way of finding the command is simply to type it. So if you know what it is, I just start typing it. And FileMaker tries to guess what I'm looking for. There's set field right there. I use the cursor down key once and I hit the return key. And there we go. So what we want to do is specify the target field. And I'm going to scroll down to, uh, let's just say the city, home city. Then what we have to do is we specify the calculated result. Well, of course, we could go in here and just type Santa Clara, but then it would use Santa Clara for everything. Instead of doing that, let's use the previous field. So we're going to target the home field with the work field, right? So I hit OK. And so it's going to take the contents out of work city and stick it into home city. So when I run this script, it's still going to do copy paste on this one. It's still going to destroy the clipboard, but then it will run this command for us separately. And you'll see the benefit of that. And they basically work identically. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to clear this out. So you're going to see it run again. And I'm going to tell it to run the script. And so there we go. So this is an example of what a brand new user will do right here. This command right here is an example of what a more established developer will do. Now, important to note, in the previous video, we talked about context. We have designed this script to run from a layout that's attached to the context table. Now, in this solution, I think all there are are context tables. Hang on one second. Let me take a look. Tables. Yeah, that's it. So in this solution, this script can never malfunction. But if you had a invoices table or some other table and you were there, this script could easily fail. So to make this script work correctly, we would say, go to layout. We would tell it the layout to go to, which would be the current layout. Now, the record that we want to act upon is a record that we're on, so we don't have to set the record in any way, right? And then there's no sort order that we have to worry about. So we could just comment using the hashtag right there, the pound sign, would say, work on existing record, right? And then I could also say, I'm just going to hit Command-D to duplicate that. I'm going to say, disregard sort. So what we've done is we specified the fact that we have to go to the right layout, and we're not going to monkey with the existing record or the sort order. Now, what are these things right here? This is effectively comments in the code for us. Because of the hashtag, FileMaker will ignore it. You can literally put a whole book of stuff in here, which is really cool, right? You could put all sorts of junky text in here, right? And the idea is that FileMaker doesn't care. It's not going to run it. It's going to run this line, and then it's going to run this line, and this line, and this line in that order. Okay? Makes sense? And so I'm going to save our script. And so once again, we can run the script. I'm going to clear this out. So you're going to see it run again. And I'm going to tell it to run the script. Now, in future videos, we'll talk about additional techniques and additional benefits. However, I want to encourage you to put lots of comments in your FileMaker scripts. Additionally, one last parting comment about these scripts right here. These two commands right here are completely dependent upon these fields being on this layout right here. So if these fields are not on the layout, it won't work. For copy and paste to work, the fields have to be visible on the current layout. The set field command doesn't work that way. We could actually press the button, run the script, and even if the fields were not here, the set field command reaches down into the guts of FileMaker and moves the data for us. As long as we're on the correct table occurrence, which gets into relational design and understanding the right table occurrence, feel free to jump to that video. But as long as we're in the right context, these fields do not have to be on the layout. It will reach down below the layout and grab them out. Copy and paste literally have to be on screen. So if they weren't on screen, they would actually fail. The copy and paste would attempt to run, but then you would notice that nothing actually happened.